This artist became famous when he captured the American internet entrepreneur, Mark Zuckerberg. After that, there was no stopping him. He first took the internet by storm when he created a 6 by 4 feet work of Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg using over a million bids on board, a piece that took him six months. The reason why I make this piece is because uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg creating those platform, the social media platform has really helped my artistic career and I believe it's not only my own career only, it has helped a lot of uh, artist friends as well and people you know to explore and also to showcase their talent on the internet like putting my works on the uh, social media has really helped me and I've gotten a lot of feedback from people telling me that oh your work is nice your work is beautiful that has encouraged me and that kept me going but now contemporary artist Sunday Olaniron is showing the audience a deeper side of him at the National Museum in Lagos <laughs> This artist grew up in the ancient town of Oshobo in Oshun State, one that has become synonymous with art, no thanks to the Oshobo school and its pioneers like Jimo Buraimo, who has become renowned for adopting beats in his works of art, a road this contemporary artist isn't afraid to walk. When I started my artistic career at a very early age, I find it very difficult to get uh, the right materials in my, you know, that I can use because uh, due to fund, you know, I have to like look around my environment and I discover that nature has it first. I can actually pick something from my environment and use it as a medium to create works of art instead of complaining on how to get, uh, where to get paint and the money, you know, uh, that I'm going to use, you know. But I look around and I started picking uh, papers and. Uh, uh, biscuit wrappers just to put them together in form of mosaic to create my piece and from there I decided developing the skis and I graduated to using the, the tree bark as a medium you know when I was doing it one day a man came to me and I said oh he loved this that he would like to buy it from me then he bought the piece from me I was so surprised you know and that is when I started getting the money to buy the paint and after that you know I was able to like what can I do in the recent years like uh, 2017 you know, I graduated from uh, tree bark to using bead as a medium to create uh, works of art. And uh, from there, I was able to create uh, a giant piece. And that giant piece, while I was doing it, has taught me a lot of patience, perseverance, and tenacity. But he brings more than just his beadworks to this solo exhibition. Paintings, craft, and sculpture are in the offering. No matter any works of art and artists want to create, nature had it first because God created everything beautiful. And we as an artist, he created us to also create something beautiful, not to cause, cause chaos to the society, but to like promote friendship, promote love, promote peace. And that is why, you know, I look at around my environment and I see what God has created. From there, I'm able to develop my own skills and talent and that has helped me a lot. So my inspiration is from nature. He's fabulous. We've been friends uh, through uh, our teacher's Facebook page. There's thousands of teachers all over the world on it and we've talked a lot on the phone. And But uh, his uh, the, the work that he does, particularly with the beads, I've never seen anything like it in the world.
the one I like most is the portrait of Nike here in the corner. Um, I like it because of the beadwork on the canvas and then having the robe flowing down. Um, I'm really interested in it because I teach art and we're starting a unit on batik. And so I'm hoping my students can learn how to make the type of fabric that she's wearing and that she really has put forth and celebrated in Nigeria. And I think he did a really beautiful job capturing her energy. And I think it's a great mixed media piece. He shows the connection between space, color, and form with his half-human and abstract images, which are inspired by his African heritage. The works are very, very impressive. This is as a result of serious hard work. Apart from the hard work, some mental input has been put into it. Mental input in the sense that the, the con conceiving the, the concept is a lot of great thinking before you put down anything in visuals. They are portraying our cultural heritage, our activities that we did some years back. It has been a great joy trying to represent them visually, you know. So the works that are exhibited here, very, very impressive. What I really actually amazed me is being a young artist, you see that it dwells more on the daily activities of the community. You know, you want to show what society is from Oshobo, right? And you will also see that some of the practice that is dying in the Yoruba, how he expressed them, like the panning of, of, of pan and yam, you know, like panning of yam and how people value human, I mean, the, the, the family unity in the Yoruba. And you also see that he also do a lot of uh, portrait study where he was looking at the emotion of people, the emotion of people and how that reflects the time. You know, and also see the the portrait of uh, the, the 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 Facebook, the man behind the Facebook, and how he was able to let let us know how this person used social media, creating social media for connectivity. Sunday Olaniro is a multimedia artist who has been sharing his knowledge with others. And just before we go, we got a couple of online creations. Take a look. house experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere.
program ends now, but as usual, the conversation continues online. Just check us out on any of our social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami, and I'm reminding you not to throw caution to the wind. Stay safe and keep being creative.